eye-catching colors and detailed streetscapes full of expressive faces line the walls of the George Siegel Gallery at Montclair University. Murals that might at first glance appear to be for children's entertainment are, upon closer look, a teaching tool in disguise. The beauty of this artwork is you see scenes like that. So it really brings a little bit of a human dimension and, and, and it allows people to get a better sense of really what went on. Artist Israel Birnbaum fled his Warsaw home at 18, just as Hitler invaded Poland and was separated from his family and sent to Siberia, never to see them again. After the war, he uh, was sent back to Warsaw only to see the devastation. He knew all about the streets. He grew up there. He could not find the old people that were there or the young people that were there. <laughs> Bomb's former home was the Warsaw Ghetto, from which 300,000 Jews were either murdered or deported to forced labor camps. It was also the site of the Warsaw Ghetto uprising. You had people packed into an, I think, an 18-block area with basically no source of, of munitions or arms, and they were able to hold off, uh, you know, the German army almost as long as Belgium and France. But the Warsaw Ghetto stands out as a symbol of, of really Jewish pride. Jewish backbone. Despite heroic efforts, the ghetto and nearly everyone in it was destroyed. Out of this atrocity came a mission for Birnbaum. He said he was going to um, do something so that the next generation will understand and remember what happened. That is the beginning of uh, my brother's keeper. He hoped the cartoon-like quality of his murals, included as illustrations in My Brother's Keeper, would present history in a format children could better understand and cope with. A picture is worth a thousand words. Um, the work is uh, its primitive in style, it's very colorful, so it's, it's very easy for, um, this, uh, for a young person to absorb. A child can come in here and relate to this. The art relates to you, that's, that's the beauty of it. The exhibition is a timely one. April 19th, 2013 marks the 70th anniversary of the beginning of the uprising. And exhibition organizers hope these works will help audiences remember and learn. Let's just understand what happened and, and so that people will not uh, do it again. This is something that, that they can learn from and, and they can share with their family and hopefully it will leave an indelible mark on them for the future and help make you know, the world a better place. Painting His Story runs through April 21st. In Montclair, for NJ Today, I'm Madeline Orton.